Dance Dance Soar brings up a topic that is something that needs to be discussed more when it comes to our society, and that is that how masculinity can actually be very negative towards young men and young boys, especially as they're growing up. So the main character Junpei, when he's at his sister ballerina's performance, he's falling asleep and all that, and then out of nowhere he sees a guy that goes on the stage and he gets and he gets amazed at it. And he and after that he wants to do ballerina. At first you see his dad that's kind of like, oh no, you shouldn't do that. But then he sees his son so happy. So then you see Junpei, he's all excited and wanting to like do ballet and all that. And then what happens is is when he's about to go to the thing with his mom to like try out for like the, the he goes to the ballet studio literally he runs into some of his classmates and like they're clowning him saying like oh you're about to go in here and they're making fun of him so that's one of that's like the first thing that makes him like not want to do ballet because all he sees all his friends are making fun of him and they're trying to act like how they're acting like it's not something manly and the other thing that really affects him and it shows like how society pressures on like on how they you know how in society how they basically make young men and young boys and say they have to do this they have to do this because it's masculinity and stuff like that and the one thing that happens is is his dad dies and when his dad dies father figure whatever uncle slash father figure slash like he was his dad's friend he literally comes up to him and says you have to be the man of the house now since your dad passed away and from that moment on he gives up on ballerina because he has to be manly because like his uncle or whatever it's like his uncle we just say his uncle he literally just basically tells him like, oh, you have to be the man in the house. And that's, you know, that's that masculinity pressure put on him. So like he stops doing ballerina, but he still does it at home, but he doesn't take it serious where he wanted to go to a studio and actually do it. So as we like go to present day, we see that he's literally struggling with like finding himself and his whole identity because he likes ballet. And like you see that he's doing all these like different things like in the class that's technically ballerina, like ballet type of stuff. And you just see that he's struggling like what he wants to be. Like he's playing soccer and he has all his friends and all that. And like what happens is he meets this girl that's in his class. And like she actually does ballet and she literally tells him like, oh, come to my studio. And then when he gets to the studio, at first he's over here trying to act like, oh, ballerinas for girls, blah, 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 and all that. But then he literally sees her dance. And then like even sees like her mom like literally watches him do all that. Because like the mom clowns him and says like, oh, because like he's over here trying to act like it's not serious. So like I that's the one aspect I really love about this anime because like it's dealing with that topic because that's really a topic that I mean we still have in our society right now that it's based how they basically they force um males to basically have to be in this like one little thing like saying males have to do this males have to do that they have to act like this like basically us not showing our emotions or they're trying to like claim that some something's like girly more girly than guyly than guy stuff we would do stuff like that and like I really like that because like it shows like his progression because. At first, you see he's struggling with himself because, like I said, he's having he's kind of having an identity crisis slash trying to find himself because he doesn't know what he wants to do because he wants to stoop do ballerina, but then he's thinking about like, oh, it's not manly because like he's doing judo because that's what his dad did and like where his uncle's at, like his uncle slash like dad's friend or whatever is there and that's his coach and he's like he's trying to do judo and maybe become a stunt devil because he wants to be like his dad who was manly and you see that pressure that was put on him to be like the man of the house because he was the only man there but i mean he was like young and you see he still has that pressure that's put on him so like you see he's still dealing with stuff so like he's he still has like all this stuff on the plate and like his teacher the instructor that's like the one girl's um, mom she literally tells him like you have to like drop everything if you really want to take ballet serious you got to drop everything like stop doing soccer and all this other stuff tell your parent tell your mom that you're literally doing ballet and like he's struggling like in the first two episodes especially episode two you see he's struggling like he's struggling so hard like the like actually want to know what he wants to do because like he still likes ballerina he even like stops going to the studio because he thinks it's girly and he doesn't want to do all this he's talking about oh i never agreed on this but then as we get to episode three we see he has a revelation because like these first three episodes have, like hit us with a lot of different stuff and i already know like episode four and onwards it's going to be really good because it's these just like the first three episodes like he literally has that character girl because by the end of episode three he literally tells his friends he's like oh i like ballet and I'm quitting the soccer club. And you see, they get, they all get mad and all that. But like, and they're like, oh, we don't understand why you want to do this. But then he runs back to like the teacher. And he's like, yeah, I dropped, I quit soccer and all that. And I'm ready to actually take ballet serious. And like, that's the one thing I really like about this series. Because it's, it's like, wow. Like in the first three episodes, that's what I like about it. Because that really is like something very interesting. Because like I said, that's a topic in our society that we're still dealing with a lot. And like just them addressing that in three episodes was phenomenal. And like I said, also it's MAPPA, literally anime in the anime. So you know it's going to look good. 
But yeah, if you've seen Dance Dance Sore, let me know how you feel about it. There's more that I skipped over because there is another character that's like his kind of his rival. And also, if you've seen Welcome to the Ballroom, this is like kind of like that in a way. So if you like Welcome to the Ballroom, you're like Dance Dance Sore. And this one's been phenomenal. Like I said, there is a certain character that's his rival that I skipped over that I don't run. Just in case somebody that's not watched this anime had wants to know more about the anime i don't want to spoil everything but i just wanted to go against like some of the like the topics that these first three episodes cover and like it's really amazing like this anime comes on on saturdays and like i said i really like how it tackles that because like i said that's something we still i know i've said this a few times in the video but i have i have to stress it enough and say it a lot because it's something we deal with in society and like we're putting all these pressures because especially as males we're put with so much pressure of having to be the manly person and all stuff like that Yes, I know there is a lot of, like, other stuff when it comes to, like, females, too, that they have hella pressures, too. Like I said, in our whole society, when it comes to, like, male and female, we're both, like, put with so many different pressures of stuff that we, quote-unquote, have to do, especially at a young age. And even, like, as a male, like, when you're a little boy, you have all this stuff, and that's why a lot of us struggle with, like expressing our emotions because like as a little kid we were basically shown like oh you need to be strong you need to be tough stuff like that and i like how this anime like basically touches that because you see he's struggling with that because he wants to do ballet but he still wants to be manly and like take care of the house and you see like he's struggling with what he's trying to do until episode three it finally just happens and he's like yo i need to just like do ballet because he likes ballet a lot because like something happens i don't want to spoil what happens that leads them into this because it's kind of interesting what happens but yeah Dance Dance Store has been one of the best of the spring because like I said the spring season has gave us a lot of good animes and I really like this a lot because it deals with this topic and I just like how in three episodes we see this progress and character development because usually it's something like this you might see this happen like episode five but at the same time the, what was happening in the anime it would have not made sense for him to go all the way to like episode five or six because that would have just been dragging on but they got to it quick and fast but the way they got to it was actually really good so it wasn't like they rushed it because like we got to see the struggle he's having and what's happening because at times it would make me mad i'm like dog what are you doing just do what you want to do and like don't care what anybody care and don't care about what anybody thinks about it and then when, when we finally get to that part in episode three i was happy but yeah if you've seen dance dance Sora, let me know in the comments how you feel about it if you've not seen it i hope this video might have helped you want to watch it because like i said it's really good and I, I like the message that this anime literally gives us because it like i said it gives us a really powerful message like just three episodes and i'm like wow i was not expecting this to like get this in just the three the first three episodes and we got it but yeah if you're new why not subscribe if you enjoyed the video why not subscribe if you enjoyed like if you didn't you could dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yeah dance dance sore it's been phenomenal so far. I can't wait to see the rest of the season. And if you've not watched it, like I said, please watch it. Because you need to do yourself some justice and watch it. Because like I said, it's really a good anime. And like seeing his character growth was like really phenomenal. Because like just in three episodes, he has amazing character growth. And we're seeing like, because you get to see how he was struggling with his identity to like finally realizing like, oh, I want to do this. We'll see what else happens. Because I think there's still going to be a few more moments that he's going to struggle. Because I think when he finally tells his mom and sister is going to be a big moment. That's like, yeah, I'm doing ballet. Well, that'll probably be like episode five or something. Maybe in the next episode that comes out, what, Saturday? But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, thank you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>